Hello. Today I'll be teaching you something called as vertebrae differentiation for the viva, table viva. We will show you first the normal cervical vertebrae, thoracic and lumbar vertebrae. First the viva question will be how many vertebrae do you have? About like, you know, seven cervical vertebrae. We have 12 thoracic vertebrae and five lumbar vertebrae. The vertebrae, all of them, most of them are classified in typical and atypical. What I'm showing you now is the typical vertebrae, but the characters be very small size, you know, that's very small size, and the presence of intransverse foramina or foramen transfusarium, and a very bifid, you know, spinous process, bifid spinous process, so you can see here, please. This is a, this is a typical vertebrae with a very short bifid, and the foramen, the, what is center is common for all the, vert, the vertebral uh, foramen, vertebral canal, vertebral foramen, this is the foramen transfusarium. So the atypical will be the first one at last axis and the C6 and C7 which will be coming under atypical. At last is identified by this typical at last type of a look here. You know the olden days that, uh, that type of a look of um, getting a globe how it was at last. The first cervical vertebrae it's named. Axis is identified by its typical dense here and the top portion you can see in the side view it has a top portion here the dense. Okay, pause the video, rewind the video. Unless you learn this, don't proceed forwards. So, mind you, the second question, why va will be? Number one, what this joint forms? It forms with my occipital bone. You can see the occipital condyles here. Articulates to form the atlanto-occipital joint. This guy will form with this one, atlanto-axial joint, and then the intervertebral joints. That's how the cervical vertebrae exists. Coming to the thoracic vertebrae, they're 12 in number. A typical, how do you identify them? They have a spinous process pointing downwards, this one. This one, the spinous process, you can see the typical look how they actually appear in the mm, skeleton here. That's how they appear actually. The spinous process going downwards, very small body they have. And the lumbar vertebrae, identified by this very big, robust type of a body and a typical step ladder pattern, I use this word. Okay, step ladder pattern, lumbar vertebrae, fine number. When you compare with any of these vertebrae, they have the very big body and uh, the spinous process is almost straight, not downwards. So a simple viva question for you, difference between cervical, thoracic and lumbar vertebrae. I hope this video helps you to subscribe and share. Thank you.